Welcome to another Kimpo Banga! And today we're going to be covering Gift and Return. Okay, this is a, a handshake technique, part two, uh, following up after Gift of Destruction. So in Gift of Destruction, we were pulling off the center line, driving the knee to the groin. So as Gift of Destruction does, is we pull off to the side to ram the opponent right into our knee shot. Okay, in this case, there's a couple variations that can happen for this technique. Uh, for someone that might be a taller individual attacking you. Um, so like for example, in my case, if I had someone taller, it would probably make more sense for me to shoot the hand to the groin. So instead of me using my knee up to the groin, I would shoot the hand straight into the groin. So in this case, what we do is we have the hand out and once once we uh, see the opponent either trying to surprise us with a punch or trying to like force our hand down not wanting to let go, that's even better, is using the, the momentum against them. What I like to add in is an ice slice, a, a minor shot. So when I have the opponent grabbing my hands, I just pick up the ice, I kind of throw an ice shot at him, and with that up, and it also takes their attention to go up here. So to cancel out, I then come down and shoot. So once I ever maintain the grip here and I slice and I drop it to the closed nail stance. Right? So again, I'll back up. So from here, I slice and I settle my weight as I step offline and shoot that um, hit his own hand into the groin. I then lock the hand with my left hand and as I start to move around, I can swing them or I can shift and swing at the same time. So as I move up, I can shift and swing them here. Now the nice part about this is I'm gonna take my opponent and shove him forward. When I shove him forward, I'm gonna get him to put some weight onto his left knee and cross cancel here. So once I shove him, I'm gonna take out the knee with a knife pitch kick and then rotate my body in a rotational uh, motion along with depth. So as I use rotation, a knee shot to the, to the um, tailbone, okay? So I'll go from this angle so it's probably a little easier. So from here, so I got Mrs. Fresh, she grabs, so in this case, I'll do it first for her, uh, on her. So as I slice here, I, if I see that punch coming up, I can slice it and drop right down. So I can just, I can shoot the hand to the groin. Now once I shoot to the groin, I take my left and reach around and lock her leg, her hand into her leg as I switch here. Now as I switch, I can rotate her and slide behind her, I have a hold of her belt. Now instead of just kicking out this leg, I wanna push her to put some more weight on it and take out that knee. So as I push, I kick out the knee, and then I rotate my body into the shot, yeah. right into the knee, right into the tailbone, okay? So I'll do it one more time on her from this angle. We'll go slow, so as she grabs, I slice, drop this right into the groin. I have my left hand snake around, and move up and swing her around. Now from here, I'm gonna shove her and throw the kick at the same time, pop, and then rotate right into the knee shot, okay? So the idea of this technique is being able to um, follow up um, the opponent pulling you. For example, if I pull her towards me this way, she can't do gift of destruction because now we're having this issue. If she and me and her are having a pulling match here, one of us are going to have to respond from the pull versus push. So if I'm pushing her this way, it makes sense for gift of destruction. If I'm pulling her towards me, it makes sense for, for gift and return. So let's just say, for example, I'm pulling her down, trying to, trying to muscle her. As soon as she starts to feel this, she's just gonna go for the slice. And if the slice doesn't make sense, then she can just go right into the groin shot. Okay, slice step again, one, two. Now if you look at her head, if we move over, her head is over my shoulder because if she goes in here, we're gonna clash heads, okay? That's another issue. So what she wants to do is she should be stepping off and that's why we step off to the side to avoid that contact. So again, she'll slice, one, two. So she's off the line, my hands are here. She then starts to lock my arm in between the legs from here. And then from there, she'll grab the belt, and then as she moves up the circle, she can control me this way. Now, she can take the momentum as I'm, and let's say I'm trying to get away, she can then start to follow me with the kick here, and then there's a knee shot to the ground. Okay? 
So in this technique, it's nice because you can use the opponent to assist the knife pitch kick. All right, so it's just like if someone is walking and then someone kicks out the back of your knee. It's the same, same situation, uh, being able to use that while your opponent's height is in check, okay? Uh, one other thing is um, cross-checking your opponent. If she does a knife pitch kick um, with her right leg to the left leg, be countering her. So she does the kick again, and I do this, then I can shoot a kick here. She's open. And that's an issue we can run into, so we want to learn how to cancel out your opponent's weapons. And that's why we kick out this leg. All right, so there's my thoughts and gift in return. If we were going to do drills, I would suggest pull versus push action, which is gift of destruction and gift in return. I would work it on different height zones. For her doing this technique against me, going to the groin is a great technique for her height zone. Um, so it just depends on the opponent and what they're pulling and pushing with. I like the ice slice in there because the ice slice puts the attention up here versus down here. So once they're getting nest here, you're taking borrow force action. So you're making the head come up and while that head comes up, the groin shot is, um, is taking advantage of that borrow force and now you're controlling the height. All right, that's my take on gift in return for now. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. It looks like I've been getting a lot of feedback. I appreciate the support, whether it's positive or negative. Um, that I, that's expected. I love it. I enjoy learning from what people have to say and what they want to show. And so I uh, thank you again for supporting the channel. You guys have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you like what you've seen, please leave a comment down below and check out our other content on the left hand side. Thanks for watching the video. Click on the bell and subscribe to the YouTube channel.